My name is Ross Campbell. I'm a consultant cardiologist, a senior clinical lecturer at the University of Glasgow and the Queen Elizabeth University Hospital in Glasgow. So the rationale was that we, we know that diuretic resistance is associated with worse clinical outcomes and that patients um, are often treated with sequential nephron inhibition, combination diuretics. And it was intuitive that perhaps SGLT2 inhibitors, given their mode of action, um, their renal benefits and their safety profile and their known benefits in terms of reducing endpoints uh, would be useful as a treatment strategy for this group of patients. So this was a pragmatic trial. It was an open label, active comparator, randomized control trial. It was a multi-center trial carried out in the United Kingdom at seven different hospitals. And we compared a three-day course of dipagliflozin, 10 milligrams once daily, with usual care, including intravenous diuretics, to a similar diuretic strategy using metolazone, five to 10 milligrams for up to three days consecutively with usual care, including intravenous diuretics. The patient population was patients admitted to hospital with heart failure who were resistant to loop diuretics. So we assessed whether there was a greater diuretic effect with dipagliflozin compared to metolazone. And what we found was that there was no difference in the the diuretic effect. There was a numerically greater diuretic effect with metolazone compared to dipagliflozin, but this did not reach statistical significance. We also looked at uh, assessment of congestion. We used objective markers, the lung ultrasound, the clinical congestion score, and there was no difference between the decongestion of patients using either treatment strategy. My key take home messages would be that both of these treatment strategies that we tested were effective. We demonstrated that because both treatment strategies lost weight, so they diuresed more, and they clinically had less congestion at the end of the, the study. Um, there was more diuretic use, intravenous loop diuretic use, in patients with dipagliflozin, but there was less biochemical upset in the patients who uh, were using, or we had the, the dipagliflozin di diuretic strategy. Overall, I think this adds to the safety profile of SGLT2 inhibitors in this patient population with acute heart failure and diuretic resistance. So I think Emperor Preserve and Deliver, these are obviously trials which are predominantly patients with chronic heart failure, so not patients who are hospitalized. There has been a gap in the evidence base for not only patients who've been hospitalized, although we have now three trials, and this is the fourth trial of patients with acute decompensated heart failure, but this, I think, expands the experience and safety profile of using this class of medication in a very unwell patient population with significant renal dysfunction and multimorbidity. I think the next trials and research to think about are about how further combinations of diuretics may be used. Um, I think there's very clear evidence that SGLT2 inhibitors can and should be used at an early stage in heart failure, particularly when hospitalized. The next questions would be, in terms of trials, how can we combine thiazides or even acetazolamide based on the ADVAR trial last year with patients who are already taking SGLT2 inhibitors? These questions remain unanswered.